Hi guys, I'm going to do another short little video of one of my machines. I've chosen one of my cocktails, which is Space Launcher. This is quite a rare machine. I only really found this out when I brought it, really. Um, how rare it is. Um, you always expect someone else to own one of these. Whether it be an upright or, you know, another cocktail. Um, but there's nobody on Clove that owns one. And no one on Dragon's Lair, and there's no one on the UK forum. So um, unless there's someone else out there on who's not on the forum, on any of the forums, as, as far as the community knows, this is the only one in its existence, and it's fully operational, as you can see. But the monitor does need a cap kit. It's a little bit dodgy. It takes about half an hour to warm up, um, <clears throat> but uh, otherwise all good. It needs a full resto. Now it's a bit of a bland looking cab to be honest with you, it hasn't got the nice um, instruction decals that uh, Space Firebird's got or the American cocktails like Donkey Kong Popeye which were a lot more colourful. But still it's Nintendo, it's in my collection so I had to come here. Um, and I, Do you know what, it's a cracking little game, I really like this game. Now as you can see here the uh, control panel doesn't really tell you much. You know, it doesn't say uh, Space Beaver, Space Firebird, Space Launcher. It's got nothing on there telling you what this game is. So it is quite a bland looking cab. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, the control panel is in very good condition. And um, that will come up nicely. Once I've taken, stripped that down and cleaned it all up. Uh, usual rust spots on these brown uh, metal uh, casings. You know, these cabs, I remember when I was a kid, you know, your mum and dad used to go and have a drink in the pub. You'd be thrown down some dodgy little games room at the end of the pub garden with an old metal roof and condensation everywhere and you'd, you'd get one of these machines in there. You know, your mum used to bring down a packet of crisps and a, and a Coke and um, you were happy as Larry playing these because, you know, when these came out in the 80s, um, there was something special. They were magical for me anyway. I remember these as being... Great fun. So here we are. Uh, let's just show you a little bit inside the cab. Pretty basic. Um, but funny enough, all these cocktail machines by Nintendo are all slightly different in many ways. Just the placements of different things are different, like the, the speakers in, in a different place and the coin box area there are bigger. They got smaller. As they went along, which you would have thought they would have got bigger, wouldn't you? Um, <clears throat> as they grow in popularity, but uh, yeah, this this coin box here is the biggest out of all my cocktails. Funny enough, um, there's the game board on the right, soundboard on the left, with all the adjustments there. Very easy to get to. Um, <clears throat> easy to dismantle and work on. Nice little cabs. And then you can see on the tabletop itself the uh, adjustment uh, um, instructions there are very bright white, um, so no fading, no browning around the edges, all pretty good, really pleased. So this is going to come up really nice next year, I'm really looking forward to doing this one. Just got to get that monitor sorted, clean that monitor up. Um, so there you go, so let's have a look at a bit more of the game itself. The game is a bit of a cross between, I don't know, it's a bit of a cross between sort of uh, Lunar Lander and Frogger I guess. You've got to get your spaceship all the way up to the top, dodging the little minefield on the way up, and then dodging the flying saucers at the top because you've got no fire button all you've got is a launch button although it does say fire button on the control panel there it's actually a launch just launches you up and when you get to the top you get like a little shield that goes around the top of your spaceship and you can collide you can collide into the spaceships for extra points and then you've got to basically dock in one of those four docking areas but they've each got a different score. Um, and the funny thing is, halfway up the screen, the score swaps, it changes. 
So you could be going for one docking station and then suddenly you think, hang on a minute, this, that was worth 400 points a minute ago, now it's only worth 100. So, you know, you tend to veer off to the left or to the right to try and get to the highest score on whatever docking pod has at that time, um, which can cause all sorts of problems because being human, we want the highest score, but it always gets you into a bit of trouble. So it's got that risk reward element to the game which uh, keeps you coming back, it's really cool. So let's uh, try and set up the tripod here and show you a little bit of it. There we go, and a um, quick sip of my whiskey. A 10p in there. <laughs> Very noisy, I should turn the volume down actually. So one player, nice bright colours there, look. And we're going to start off at the bottom. And then we go back down again. It automatically... You've only got a few seconds at the top there and it automatically pushes you out of the docking bay. World record of this game on Main of 70,000. My high score is 44,000. Far behind. <laughs> Early levels are quite easy, so it's nice to get off them as quickly as you can. It does get quite intense later on. You've got to watch that, because um, they can shoot you while you're down the bottom, while you're still in the docking. And if you veer off to the left or the right while you're in the docking station, um, you can't crash. Going for 500 now, look. Oh. A bit like asteroids, it waits till everything's out of the way before it actually displays your ship. Oh. There you go, not my best score, but I didn't want to play for too long in case I bored you. <laughs> It's different being a voyeur than actually playing it yourself. But um, it is a good little game. I advise anyone to play it on main. It's really cool, actually. You can get right into it. Um, it's a simple game, but, you know, I find they're always the best. So there you go. There's my space launcher. How cool is that? Even cooler when you know that not many other people have got one. Aha. So there it is. Thought I'd share that with you. No one else has sh shared a video of a space launcher. So I thought I'd just do that. Okay. Cheers, guys.